First of all, Hawaii is always vulnerable. We're a very small place. People can come in from outside here. You know, the Koch brothers could come in here and knock us for a loop. They could knock us silly, you know, if they wanted to come into Hawaii and do it. The only reason that they don't is because they don't have an interest. You know, they don't care. It's a little place far away, so what? Uh, that's what we've got going for us. But, you know, if you've got a car, a boat, a family, anything, what do you do? You protect that. You know, if you put a boat in the water, you don't not paint it. You know, you don't not take the barnacles off it. You don't not make sure that it, you know, you, that, it, that it runs. You know, if you've got children, you try to you know, give them the best education you can, the best health care you can. You want to be sure that they're physically ready to, to do whatever needs to be done. You got to do all that stuff as a parent. And UHPA as, a, as an entity, as, a, as an operation, as an organization, has got to take care of its own interest. And I'm saying in order to protect its interest, it's got to spend money. And, and, and it's got to have it in order to do it. You know, you can't go, you know, it's not like one of those situations where you're going to have a special assessment. That isn't going to work. But right, what, right now, Citizens United has opened the door for political entities like UHPA or like the Koch brothers or like anybody to get in and play, right? It happens to be, under the rules we have today, the more money you have, the more you're going to be able to play.